am super excited to bring this review to you. This is the first over under I've been able to review for guns.com. Uh, so if you are not familiar with Stevens, uh, they actually were sort of absorbed by Savage Arms back in the day, like in the 40s, right? So this is actually made in Turkey and then it's imported by Savage Arms. Now, every budget gun shotgun is made in Turkey, <laughs> right? That's just the way that it is. Now, if there were any company that I would trust uh, to import a shotgun from Turkey, it would definitely be Savage. They have a great reputation. They stand behind their product and they make really good stuff. So in terms of the 555, this is a budget over under shotgun. And what I mean by that is, is it is in the sub thousand dollar range. Now for other types of guns, anything anywhere near a thousand dollars is probably going to get you like something very nice. Now with over unders, you've got two really big barrels. So that really drives the price point of these guns up. Now I'll have you know, when I first started competing, uh, the first three years of my competitive shooting career was actually with clay shooting. And at the time I researched the budget over under shotgun market pretty extensively. And so uh, I feel very comfortable speaking to this market and as a shooter who is looking for a gun um, in this category, I wanna make sure to talk to you about this one. So the Stevens 555 right here, um, you could get it in a few different models. This is a walnut stock and uh, they do have some really nice checkering right here and a adjustable cheat comb. This is huge. So to give you an example, when I got my budget over under shotgun, it didn't have this feature. So um, this is something to really appreciate. The other thing I wanna make sure to mention is um, this particular gun, uh, it has what we call extractors as opposed to ejectors. So ejectors, once you break open your gun, will actually eject the shells. Extractors, you have to take them out yourself. Um, as someone who frequently hits myself in the face with shotgun shells when I'm breaking open a gun, I actually like extractors. Um, but again, that was something that they did to keep the price point on this particular shotgun down. Something to note. So one thing to mention is that you actually do have a barrel selector with this gun. So you could choose what barrel you're going to shoot out of first. And of course, on these barrels is a beautiful vent rib. And what I mean by a vent rib, if you are not familiar with it, is that this is this very nice top piece that you use as your sighting system on a shotgun. This is huge. Uh, really any over under that you're looking for, for uh, whether if it's recreational, competition shooting, upland hunting, vent rib is absolute key. Now, what is awesome about this particular vent rib is you have a center bead. So I hate to compare it to like my old budget over under shotgun, um, but mine didn't come with a center bead. So very stoked to see that. Again, that helps you gain a uh, better sight alignment when you're able to put that front fiber, which is located right here. Um, and then kind of make that figure eight with that, that center bead. Um, that is huge. And the other thing is that it comes with extended chokes. Uh, again, a really nice upgraded feature. A lot of these budget shotguns, um, they're just gonna have chokes that are inset in the barrels. So having a little bit of extension on those choke tubes is a very, very nice feature. And I can't forget to mention that there is porting on the barrels. Like how absolutely huge and awesome is that? Again, is just really gonna help uh, with the performance of this particular firearm, whether if you want to take it out for skeet or clay or whatever kind of clay shooting that you enjoy doing, whether if it's upland bird, um, it is going to perform very well. Now I will mention that the first time that I picked up this gun, it's pretty light. Uh, unlike other firearms with an over under shotgun, typically you want them to be heavier because that is going to help with your transitions. It's going to help to reduce that felt recoil that you get. So when you have a gun uh, that is fairly light, this one comes in at just over five and a half pounds. Um, I get very concerned about what that recoil is going to feel like. Uh, surprisingly, this performed very well. Um, now I will say that if you shoot it all day, multiple days in a row, like I did, your brains might feel a little bit jarred. Um, it is not like the softest shooting over under shotgun, but again, it does very, very well. And I was surprised at how soft it did shoot with the weight that this gun currently carries. Um, in terms of reliability, 
I had zero issues, um, absolutely no reliability issues. I fed all sorts of different kinds of shotgun ammunition through it. So I did fast stuff uh, like super handicap, 1300 foot per second Winchester, double A stuff all the way down to some slower, like 1170 foot per second, like white box, right? It absolutely ran through everything. Um, but overall, I would say that if you are looking for a budget over under shotgun, it looks great. It performs well, it's reliable. I don't know, I can't really find much to complain about it. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Again, this is my first uh, over under review of guns.com, even though I have a lot of experience with these guns. So I would love to hear what your questions are on them. If you own a Stevens 555, let me know. Um, also understand that these guns come in a lot of different calibers. You could get them in like a 410, you could get it in a 20 gauge, you could get it in like five different calibers. This particular one is a 12 gauge. Obviously that's probably your name state. Uh, you can check out this gun on guns.com. Uh, both new and used stuff is up there. And again, my name is Taylor and I look forward to seeing you guys on the range.